got the shot. Welcome, welcome. This is T.O. from What Would T.O. Say. Today is a is an episode that I want to dedicate to the veterans. So it's almost kind of a, a story time. Um, so what I'm going to do for this episode is go over photos that I've taken over the years um, with the with the theme you know, of Veterans Day and happy Veterans Day to all my military brothers and sisters, especially my close, close friends who served and did what they needed to do to protect this country. It's greatly appreciated, you know, despite the the politics, American politics specifically and how things are going, you're not for guy. You know, I'm not forgetting you. You know, that's why I wore my Buffalo is back half marathon shirt to, to represent, you know, and, and just want to give a, a quick salute. So with that being said, um, I have a couple of pictures um, that I'm <clears throat> presenting and also given the opportunity for you guys to actually get an opportunity to purchase them. Um, and so we're going to go with the very first photo. Um, I'm tired of this one. Thank you. Um, this photo I took, majority of the photos were in the DC, I should just say the DMV area. So, um, the first one is thank you. I'm putting it up right now. And, um, it was interesting cause I was, um, by the, train station i forget the name of the train station i'll put it up there and uh i was walking around with my camera at the time i'm always walking around with my camera sorry i was walking around with my camera at the time and i saw this gentleman standing there smoking a cigarette but what you don't see in the photo in front of him was another pillar and in that pillar was his shopping cart of his belongings and uh you know once i saw him you know i instantly knew this was a photo this was a story you know and uh, and i wanted to give a realistic perspective of what vets go through every day the things that they sacrifice for their country and 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 the and sometimes, most of the time, the things they get back is not all what is expected to be. They're forgotten. And um, so he was there, um, he smoked his cigarettes, and uh, I quickly adjusted my settings. Break, but what I was saying about this photo, so I was adjusting my camera settings and um, and the camera at the time that I was using, which was the Sony A77, um, actually has a pop-up flash attached to it. And unbeknownst to me, <laughs> I actually accidentally hit the, the flash button, which popped up the flash. I didn't even realize it. And I instantly took I think I did this in like two, three frames. And of course, you know, using flash and street photography is its own unique skill sets, actually. Um, I per excuse me, I personally don't do it, but um, it was done. And he, the gentleman actually looked up and noticed I took a picture of him. And all I could say was, I nodded my head down and I said, and I whispered the word thank you to him. And he politely gave me the welcome gesture with his hat. And that was the moment with that photo, you know. Um, you know, he gave me the opportunity. <laughs> Fate gave me the opportunity to take the photo and, uh, and he was pretty cool about it. And uh, and when I took that photo, I knew I had something. I, I it just gravitated with me, you know. So this is the photo. Thank you, you know. 
So let's go on to the next photo. Um, that was, uh, sorry about that, kind of going through these slides. And the next photo is uh, titled 21 Steps, you know. 21 Steps is there with, um, uh, what is it called, the Tomb of the Unknown. Sorry, I had a little small brain fart, but the Tomb of the Unknown. And uh, I've always seen it on TV, the, the guards that to literally walk 21 steps. Um, always seen it on TV, but to actually see it in person was actually quite the experience uh, to actually see that and just the the level of discipline and dedication that these guards um, give to protect the, the tomb of the unknown is just amazing you know these guys they literally refrain from smoking and drinking all those things just so they can serve this unique duty and um you know it's it, you know there are quite a few frames of this but this one was really just the perfect frame everything that went along with it um so this one i titled 21 steps you know there are many different photos of it but this is till david interpretation of the 21 steps the next photo is Brotherhood. Um, this is uh, this is actually one of my favorites. Um, these are actually the Tomb of the Unknown Guards. I was just, um, I'm sorry, of the Unknown, sorry. These are the guards. And as I was leaving, you know, I walked around a little bit, you know, viewed the property and then I was getting to the point, you know, getting ready to wrap it up and call it a day. And these these soldiers were walking and instantly I'm thinking, you you know, they're laughing and joking and just sharing that brotherhood moment amongst themselves. And uh, you know, I, I as they were I didn't want to take a direct photo of them while they're walking towards me, you know, so what I ended I waited, waited a little bit and, and I watched them go and I, and, and I just captured this moment. They just walking together, they're protecting each other, they're, they're brothers at the end of the day, you know, no matter what color, what creed origin or anything you know one thing is certain they are there to protect each other and, and they they have a lifetime to do so so brotherhood and another photo that i took you know this we we're gonna step a little bit outside the realm a little bit um, you know, we cannot deny the politics of this country and how those things work. And it's, this one is called Nation's Wealth, you know, just talking about just the irony, you know, when in the nation's capital and we have homeless individual around this monumental statue and you know and just showing the reality you know we cannot forget that we have a lot of work to do as as a country excuse me let me get there um as a country you know we got to continue to do what's right for our communities our culture things of that nature and what's so important about military personnel they fight so we have the right to do that and we must never 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 forget that nation's wealth and 
the next one is just ironic. You know, so today is Veterans Day. Yesterday it was, is what was the Marines' birthday. And I keep it real simple, Semper Fi. You know, I, and I just love the Simmons. I just love just how the sun just just shine on that American flag, you know? And, uh, and just to be in that space and just give it the proper respect in, in terms of photography, I, I was humbly honored to be able to, to do that. Um, you know, just the composition of it. It was a tough composition for me because the way it's designed, you know, I wanted to capture the soldiers and the flag and just make sure you can see the encryption there. So, you know, we can have it all together and we can give the proper respect. Simplify. I think this is one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite, you know, and, and I want to conclude this video is is right that I conclude this video with this photo, and that is service continued. You know, I was getting ready to actually walk towards the train station. Um, I actually was walking towards, I believe it was yes, yeah, the train station, and um, you know, like everything, sometimes you take thousands of photos, but it's the moments that really, really count. And this was a moment, you know, had this soldier walking, you know, and I just, you know, when I saw him walking and I saw this sign, the first thought was, you know, the job is not done. We, the service must continue. We must do what we must for this country and continue to do it, you know. And if you ever had the opportunity to travel outside this country, you know, things are different. You know, we are essentially blessed despite um, the different challenges, in some cases trauma, you know, and that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time, you know. I might consider tackling that. Um, service continue, you know, and you know, this was the frame, and, and some of these photos I've used in the past, and some, you know, I've used it for other purposes, but I just wanted to properly honor Veterans Day and also get the chance for my veteran friends and family just to get an opportunity to have a piece of art that represent their lifestyle or was, or what was once their lifestyle and um, and I can't stress it enough thank you thank you for what you do thank you for what you did and um, I salute you personally um, with that being said love peace and happiness I, I hope everything is going well I hope you receive the help that you need, the love that you need, and you know, what little I can do as an ally, let me be of help if I can. So, with that being said, happy Veterans Day. Check out the links if you're interested in any of the photos. They're only, they're only gonna be for, for the next couple of days and I'm gonna take them down. With that being said, peace, love, and happiness. Take care, salute.